check in and they did give me a door. They give me a dog to back up into. You know, I had my appointment at five and it's it's uh, 4.30 right now. So pretty glad that they did load me up. Now the issue I'm running to is my hours because I'm running out of hours. I have three and a half hours right now and the drive is four and a half to five hours. So that means I got to be there by six in the morning tomorrow. So it's 4.30 p.m. So I'm gonna have to split my clock. I'm gonna have to do a sleeper berth split, which I should be, by me doing that, I should be able to, to be there on time tomorrow morning. But let's go see what they load me up with. I don't know if I can see. Looks like paper towels. So I just parked like an hour ago. I did have to do a sleeper birth split. It is currently nine o'clock at night and I have to be at my delivery by 6 a.m. So I do not have enough time to make it there today, so that's why I had to do a, a split. I have uh, roughly around 100 miles left to get there. So so I got to be there by 6, so I need to wake up around 3.30 and be, by, be on the road no later than 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm about to, I'm about to show you on the e-log, just to show you how I'm fixing to do the sleeper breath split. All right, so this is my current uh, logbook. So Thursday, this is today right here. So if I click on it, uh, it does show that I currently have a violation, exceeded 14 hour shift limit, which I started the day at 3.30 roughly, 3.30 in the morning, and I only got 14 hours, so my 14 hours ended right here. But since I took a three and a half hour break right here, I was able to split it to do a sleeper birth split. So it says, violation may be removed at the completion of a second qualifying split sleeper period. So right here at this section, I did approximately three hours and 22 minutes uh, during sleeper. So it may be removed after completion of a second qualifying so what is a second qualifying? I would have to take a break of approximately so six thirty-eight, six hours and thirty-eight minutes. So right now I'm in uh, sleeper. So I need to do six hours and thirty-eight minutes, and that will equal out to ten hours. So after. After I complete a six hour and 38 minutes, this little um, violation is gonna go away. So it is currently nine o'clock. So I'm gonna wake up at 3.30 a.m. So that'll be nine, three, three, six. So I, so I stopped at eight. So from eight till 3.30, that is seven and a half hours so that is more than the six six hours and 38 minutes that i need so tomorrow when i wake up this should be gone this violation should be gone so i am on the east coast and my logbook is is set up to central so that's why it's an hour behind of what i'm talking about so i stopped at eight but on the logbook it shows seven let's go look at the time you see right here if I look at my 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 driving time I have zero 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 if I go to show split clock I have 17 left and 55 55 so tomorrow when I wake up the only since I'm not gonna do a 10 hour break the only driving time that it's gonna give me tomorrow is this this uh, 622 and this <clears throat> so total is 
seven seven forty. So tomorrow when I wake up, it should give me seven forty right here and some time right there. But tomorrow my drive time, by the time I start rolling at four in the morning, it should give me seven forty right here. Since I am not gonna do my my whole ten hour break, I'm only doing the uh, split, which is a minimum of six hours and thirty eight minutes. So this can be a little bit confusing, but I've seen that this this is where I did my my split. So I've heard that with when you, whenever you're trying to do the split, you need a, a minimum of seven or eight hours right here on your first split but with keep trucking for whatever reason it lets me do a minimum of two hours for me to do my split i don't know if that makes sense or not probably not because it's kind of confusing and i'm an expert in this so i'm trying to do the best to explain it but here i have the split i'm gonna do it at three hours and 22 minutes so tomorrow we'll see if i'm correct or not when I wake up, I show you in the morning. This this is currently what I have going on. Rise and grind. Let's get this paper. 3:30 in the morning. Fixing to hit the road. Let's see how many miles I got left. I got 97 miles left. But well, let's see what what's it looking like at the at my logs. All right, so here we have today, which is three o'clock Central Time right now. It's fixing to be four o'clock a.m. So this was yesterday. You see, I don't have that. 14 hour shift violation no more so now let's go see how much drive time I have so it's showing I got 758 drive time which yesterday I said I had I'm, I was gonna have 740 but I didn't take into account the, the driving time that I had left over yesterday so yesterday when I did the show split clock I had around 17 minutes left so that's where the extra 18 minutes came from. So I got a 10:39 shift and eight hour break. So now I've done almost an eight hour uh, sleeper shift. So in order for me to get the extra three hours and two minutes, I gotta do a complete, I gotta do another split of two hours and six minutes in order to get that two hours and two minutes and that'll give me a full 10 hour shift split which that'll give me a, the complete 11 hour driving shift so, so later on I, I do gotta take a, I am gonna take a, another split uh, I gotta wait for my pickup I got delivery at six and my next pickup is at 12 so more than likely I am gonna end up doing another sleeper bird uh, split so here are my delivery so let's go check out the logbook I've been here for almost three hours so let's see if I can get some more hours in my logbook now that I have done a another split so here I have the current status of my logbook which I've been here for two hours and 42 minutes which earlier I have I said that I needed to do another split of two hours and six minutes something like that in order to get my full 11 hour shift so currently I have six hours and five minutes but I drove an hour 36 so let's just subtract an hour 36 from 11 which that'll give me 9 24 
924 which currently have 605 but after I do my second after I put this in sleeper that, that I needed the two hours and eight minutes that should give me the the remaining time so I can get more more hours so let's see Put in, put in the sleeper right here. See. When I do like, when I have those little breaks, I usually do like 10, 20 minutes. So 17 minutes is fine. So let's go back and see. 9.24, you see it gave me more give me the hours that I needed so now I have my full 11 hours of drive time for the day so this morning I did an hour 36 minus 11 now I have 924 I know it can be pretty confusing I'm I mean it's still kind of confusing trying to explain it at that but I, I tried my best hopefully that helps helps y'all out